If you don't know yet, Blender 4.1 is already out and ready to download with a ton of new features. I will leave a link in the description to check out the features that have been shipped with Blender 4.1. With that, we also have some new amazing add-ons and generators that you may want to check out from procedure aging, city generators, character packs, parallax shaders, and improved motion tracking. So let's dive in. Making materials, objects, and textures look old is a complicated process that takes a lot of time. You need to layer multiple effects on top of each other, and if you want to make a transition animation from old to new, that is going to add a new level of difficult to the whole process. But this new FX add-on simplifies the whole process in just a few clicks. It can add all the necessary effects that makes a render or your scene look old from dust, moss, debris and other effects and can also give you an easy way to make those effects animated so that you can animate them from new to old. If you want to refresh your light gobos collection, a new pack of procedure gobos has dropped with extra effects like laser projection, skull sticks, animation, blurry gobos and more. They are also running a 60% discount for their launch so get it while it's available. If you need a city, I made a Geometry Node's best city generator. All you need is to add the asset to your asset library and when you need a city backdrop, you just drag it into your scene and customize almost every parameter you want. You can switch out the building textures to get a different look. And if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I made this city generator, I'm working on a tutorial series that will be on my Patreon and my Gumroad page. But if you want a brief overview of the entire process, I also have a tutorial on the channel taking you through how I made this. If you're planning on making an animation series with a small team, make your production look massive with a big budget by taking advantage of these pre-made characters. This character generator can make more than 2 billion character combinations to make unique characters from doctors, nurses, cops, DJs, dogs, cats, and more. The characters come rigged with a post library to act as a starting point for your rig. If you have viewlinks in your scene, you should try W Parallax. It uses Parallax shaders to render interiors without adding any extra geometry. This technology is used a lot in games like Spider-Man to render interiors without adding extra geometry. This is a great way to bring a new level of depth and detail to your buildings. There is no reason why your cities should be empty. Before add-ons, it was understandable because making cars was hard, and making cars was also hard, and simulating realistic traffic was almost impossible. But with new add-ons like procedure traffic, you get everything in a single package. You get hundreds of cars, fully rigged and animated, and the add-on also handles the traffic simulation itself. All you have to do is set up the roads and the add-on will do the rest. Most material libraries are full of realistic textures and shaders with scratches, grunges, concrete materials and more. While having such a library is great, if you make product visualization for your clients, most jobs you will get need clean looking materials to render products like they are new, untouched and perfect. And that's what the Material Works library is. It's a library of super clean materials with a lot of detail and variation for any type of product visualization. You have metals, plastics, glass, and everything in between. They say a bad workman blames his tools, but sometimes bad tools are to blame. You can't replace a spade or a shovel with a spoon and expect the same results. You can't expect a graphics card from 2007 to produce the same results as, as an RTX 4090 Ti. If your lighting sucks, it's okay to blame the tools. Good lighting comes from experimenting. Experimenting with how light is cast onto the object and how shadows look. If the tools you're using make it hard to experiment, then you're not going to experiment enough to get good lighting. Light Wrangler is a new add-on that makes playing with lights a lot easier and faster, giving you a lot of room for experimentation so that you can get the perfect lighting you need. Blender has always had great systems like a good smoke simulator, a great physics system and a great cloth system. What it lacks is great tools to help artists in using these systems. Motion tracking in Blender seems easy to use until you want to track 
a lengthy shot or a fast flying drone shot, where tracking points move out of the scene really quickly. The automatic features that come built in don't work really well here for this case, and since you need a lot of tracking point, it is going to become a tough job. This is what the new Flux Tracks automated camera tracking add on came to solve. It is built on top of the Blender Motion Tracking system, enhancing it and giving artists all the necessary tools to create the best track possible, whether it's a drone shot, fast moving shot, or basically anything you want. Here at Top Channel 1 on 1, we make a lot of VFX stuff. Occasionally, I make generators to help make these VFX shots, like this tornado generator I made. When you get the generator, it comes with a full tutorial on how to make it from scratch using geometry nodes, but I also have a quick overview of the process on the channel that you can watch for free. Speaking of procedural things, here is another amazing generator that generates procedural rocks. You can change a lot of parameters and it also comes textured with realistic rock materials. See you in the next video.